Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Sulky, express yourself with sulky and create with confidence. Brother, it's so easy with brother at your side. And Quilt Cut, easy fabric cutting for quilters. Hi, and welcome back to Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community. I'm Patrick Lose, and I'm here with my friend Kay Caps Cross. Hey there. Hey, and we've been working on a project together. Kay's been teaching me how to make her Pass the Pimento Please quilt. And this is what we've got so far. It's and really high tech, yeah. <laughs> okay? This is um, what you would term high precision quilting. Yeah, not so much. Not so much, no. no. This is what you would do on a retreat when you really want to have fun. Yeah. And, and you don't want to have to think a lot about and it. And not have to bring a lot of rulers. Right, and... exactly. Okay, so, so what, this is the point that we got to in the last segment, yes. and this is what we've created. Now, what are we going to do with this to turn it into the blocks in the okay. quilt? What we're going to do with this mortar board is now we are actually going to just rough cut our corners first before we okay. square up the block. Okay, so the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to make a fold here, right along here. I folded the fabric back so that now I can just take the scissors and slice in there. Now you may be thinking, oh goodness, we're gonna have a lot of waste. Not really, okay? That, that is what I thought at Not first, was really. that it looked like a lot of... Because when we go and we square these up, we're gonna end up with these couple triangles, more triangles that yeah. we can then sure, use, sure. okay? So I would like you to try to do that, Patrick. Okay. Make your folds and just rough cut. So like this, is that? Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Bring this in here so that it can be seen. And then I'm just going to cut You're on just that fold? Gonna, okay. Yep, just cut right on that fold, just to rough cut it to free up mm -hmm. the strip. Because it is one strip. It is one complete okay. strip, yes. Okay, did I go far enough? Or? And you may need to snip a little thread there. Oh, there, yeah. Yep, you may need to snip a thread because remember we went off of the strip. Just a little bit. Yeah, right. off okay. the background. You want me to do all of yep, these? Yep, I'd okay. like you to do all of them for me, please. I have to keep setting the scissors down though to get this. There you go. Just your little fold and then just slice up the fold. So you can see that, now I was playing around with this um, a couple weeks ago. I had a sick child at home. He wanted to watch a movie. So I got it to this part and I was able to take this upstairs, watch a movie with him oh, yeah. and keep working and on my project. Watch TV. Sure. It worked out great. There you go. I love One that more. there's no rulers involved. Isn't it great? Yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah. Well, and I love the just spontaneity of it also. It, yes. Am I doing that? No. Yep. Now this, this one, one actually right. is free. It's okay. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You could fold it right here and take that tail off Yeah. But, if that feels better to get rid of that tail. Okay. And we just want to make sure, we're going to finger press this a little, make okay. sure that we've gotten out. Do you want your seam allowance to go We want outward? the seam allowance to go outward, okay. yes. So we need to. The only time we wouldn't do that is if we've used one of those heavier fabrics and it oh, wants sure, to go its own way, then we may switch that up. Right. Kay likes to yeah. mix her fabrics up as we yes. talked about in the earlier episode. And if you're using an upholstery weight or something that's heavier, yeah, you right. want to get rid of that. Right. Okay. Now, one more little thing I'll show you before you fold that and cut it. For people like uh -huh. you that like things very neat, <laughs> you certainly could go in and wouldn't iron that, do that first. before you do this. Yeah, I, I don't always do that, yeah. but that's an option if that feels better. Sure. Okay? sure. okay. So then we actually get to go to the iron and press this. Okay. Yeah, how fun is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll be over here and we'll press out one corner at a time. Okay. So we'll start with, we'll end up looking like this. Okay. Okay. Sure. And then we'll have two pressed and then we'll have three pressed and then all four of them. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to set my seam first. Okay. And then press out. Pressing, not ironing, mm -hmm. which I think is what you do as well. Yeah. Set the seam. Press out. Now, as we square up this block, we'll be taking off the rest of these tails. Sure. And that's where we'll end up with those triangles that we can use on another block. Including the excess of the white, the, or the black and white fabric? 
No, I leave, leave it the there. Foundation? I okay, leave it there. Um, and the reason that I leave it there is because I'm using different weights of fabric, mm -hmm. I like to know that I've got that stability underneath. Right. So if I'm using some fabric content unknown, right. or it's on the bias, I've got that stability right. still. All right, Patrick, now we've got this pressed and we're ready to square up the block. Okay. So we can't really see our background here right, and we right. want to keep the background, so we're going to square it up from the back. Okay. All right. Now if you would get the nine and a half inch ruler, please. What we're going to do first is just line it up and randomly just cut off, off those that. first okay. two edges and then we'll square just up from cut. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is where we're going to have those great triangles that we can use later. Sure. They're awesome. They're ready to go. Right. You so make we're a smaller version yes. of the same. Yes. Sure. Okay. So now we're going to spin this. So you don't have to lift it up and disturb it. Right. So we just line that up on eight and a half, and now we're going to take off these two sides. Okay. Nicely done. Okay. Now we are going to end up with, we start with our square like this, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to eventually that quarter looks great. it. I Doesn't love that look it. fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll take. I, I wanted to say something about this too. So it's, it's fine that it's random and we've got two corners that are the same fabric and yes, that's going to work to our advantage. Yes, because these were some of those leftover corners. Oh, oh great. That okay. I stitched around there. Cool. Okay, so we okay. get a mix. Sure. The best mix is, you know, throw a bunch of them in there and it's, it's spontaneous. Yep. Okay. So we're going to cut this from the back in half, okay? Okay. So you're going to take your square that you just squared up and do a vertical cut. And we're at eight and a half for our block, so we want to cut it at four, four and a quarter. And a quarter. Exactly. Good. Now we're just going to rotate the mm -hmm. mat and do another vertical cut. And we end okay. up with our quarters. Cool. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. It's great. So now what we're going to do is take an assortment of those and stack Store them up. Together. Yep, okay. stack them up in two stacks. Okay. So we can throw these in the mix as well. And does it matter, is it just random as far as, I like, like do you to want to shuffle them up I, a little bit? We can shuffle them up or um, I can pick from one and then the other. Okay. Okay, but I do like to have a little bit of sense of order when I set them here. Okay. I want them ready to stitch, mm -hmm. okay, and I like to stitch them from the color down. Okay, and does it matter, uh, one of the things that I just noticed when you pick that up, mm -hmm. if you're going to be sewing from the top like if you're going to be lining it up here and sewing, are you getting any puckering because you've got four layers of fabric there for it to... I, I don't experience okay. that. Okay. Okay. I was going now, to say, do you need to use pins or do you... No, okay. I don't use pins. I'm just going to slap it okay. together right. and go. Okay. Great. So we are going to stack up some of these and we'll actually get to do one of those thick ones so we can see how that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to stack it up, get our corners matched up. And we're going to just chain stitch these. And at this point, you do want to be a little more precise. You want your exactly. ends to meet yes. and things like that. Yes. And we actually, I'm glad you mentioned that because we probably want to switch to our quarter inch foot at this point. Okay. All right. We Great. can go ahead and do that. Okay. So I'm going to pop this foot on and put my okay. quarter inch foot on. So now we're going to stitch these. Okay. We've got our quarter inch foot on, which is great. And we are ready to go. I'm going to pop it right on there and start going. No pins. When I get close to the end, I'm going to pull up the next one. Just chain them. Yep, and I'm just going to chain them together. Now this one, we can see here that we've got a little stretch going on, mm -hmm. don't we? Yeah, definitely. Um, that is because it's upholstery fabric. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just kind of ease that mm -hmm. in. So I'll have to pay a little attention to this one. Okay. A little bit more care. Again, no pins, though. Right, no pins. I don't need pins. 
I'm just easing that. I'm just going to ease it in. Yeah. Side. Okay. So I'm going to just crunch it up in there a little bit. There you go. And it'll be fine. Yeah, I was afraid that that was going to pucker a little bit when you. Yeah, it's not as bad at all. Down. It's not bad at all. These are not very big pieces. Sure. So it works really well. And because but you definitely need that foundation of the black and white right. fabric under there. You can see why I want right. to keep that in right. there. Yep, you can see why I want to keep that. See these wonderful mixes we're yeah, getting? I, I oh, love them. getting a mix of the backgrounds and of the color. Should we do a couple more here? Oh, look at this fabric. I, this is another upholstery piece. That looks like a silk almost. Yeah. It's, I don't think it is, but it looks great. Oh, we don't want two hats together, do we? Oh, why not? Random. Yeah, random, but... You're starting to think. I know, random, but no repeats, please. Oh, okay. I don't want to repeat. Now she has rules. I know. I, <laughs> you just can't keep, you can't keep ahead of me. You don't know what I'm going to say next. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Okay. And then we're going to take a look at what this looks like. Isn't this fun? See how you don't have to it think? It is. It's easy. Right. It's easy. It's the kind of project when you have something on your mind, you just want to go to the machine yes. and work it out. And you want to be chatting at a retreat. Right, or... right. And you can do that. Yep. Okay, so we've got a long chain. We've of got now. a long chain, and this is a perfect place for us to stop. Go have okay. a cup of coffee. Sounds good, or tea. All right. Sure, green tea. Yes, green this. tea, that's right. Yeah. You've educated me. Let's go have some green tea. <laughs> okay. So we'll come back in the next segment and we'll show you how to turn these into blocks, the, the full blocks, right. to make the Pass the Pimentos Please quilt. Yes. So I hope you'll join us next time on Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community. I'm Patrick Lose. Thanks for being with us. And say that three times fast, please. Pass, pass the Pimentos. Yeah. <laughs> Can't even do it the first. Pass the Pimentos, please. <laughs> pass the Pimentos. Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Sulky. Express yourself with sulky and create with confidence. Brother, it's so easy with brother at your side. And Quilt Cut, easy fabric cutting for quilters.